Hey everyone, we're going to jump straight into the video and today we're going to be looking at 14 street circuits but I wanted to give you a car mod before we get to that and here it is. So this is the RS6, this is the 2020 version by Forceful, 624 brake horsepower, 748 newton meters of torque. This will do not 60 in just over 4.2 seconds, it is a beast, 186 miles an hour. This has got some great detail on the outside and the inside so do check out this mod all the links are going to be in the description for all the mods on the video today and they are all free also do check out the rest of the channel there's lots more sim racing especially a set of courser on there and do check out our partner simrace247.com for all the latest motorsport and sim racing news so let's jump into our first street circuit and the first circuit we are at today is Adelaide. Now this is by Tui. It's two miles long and it's got 23 pits. And this is actually a recreation of the Clipsal 500 street circuit in Australia. This is a really good flowing circuit. So it's a great street circuit to start off our list today. Next up at number two, we have another very cool track. This is Mirandopolis by Ecar Tracks. This is 2.8 miles long and 40 pits. Now you may have played the free roam version of this, but this is actually the track. So you can zoom around this cool city landscape. At number three is one of my old favorites. So this is Luca Ring. This is the 2014 layout. This is by IR Syndico, 3.4 miles long and 24 pits. I particularly like this for a lot of vintage racing, but it is a really tight and twisty circuit, but you've got all this great background too. So definitely a must for your collection. Number four on the list is Washington DC. This is by Tyrone. This is 1.9 miles long and 35 pits. Now this is actually a test track and I was digging around on race department and I found it. I have seen it before in the past. Tyrone classes it as a test. So it's a little bit unfinished, but it's still really a cool track to race on. Next up at number five, we have another one of my favorites. This is Miami Bayside. This is by ACU and Liquid Skyman. 2.9 miles long and 30 pits. This has done exceptionally well. It's also quite a large track, so there's plenty of space for overtaking on this. This is really good for high powered street cars. Next up at number six, we have a Matsu Gadake, and this is by Bojan Abradovic. Now this is 1.1 kilometers long and it's got six pits and it also comes with working AI. It's a very different kind of street circuit than the ones we've just been looking at. But nevertheless, I think this is what a set of course is great at, created all these fantastic mods that cover every kind of racing that you may want to do. I actually think this track's a very interesting little track. So again, all the links are in the description ready for you to download. So we're now on to number seven and even though I've tried to keep away from all the really obvious street circuits, 
I'm gonna chuck this one in. So this is a new Monaco track for me. This is Monaco 2020 and it's 2.1 miles long and 22 pits. And as you can see, it's done really nice, but this has got the updated swimming pool section. So if you're looking for a particular layout of Monaco, this may be the one that you're looking for. So do check it out. And when you do go to all the modest page, make sure you say thank you if there's a way of doing that. I know they all appreciate any support you do give them. Next up and at number eight, we have Seattle Circuit. This is again by Tyrone. This is 2.4 miles long and 28 pits. I think a lot of people have probably downloaded this if you played a set of Corsa for any length of time. This is of course a GT track. It was actually in multiple Gran Turismo games. So if you've not got it, do check it out. It's a really cool track again to race around with street cars. This is number eight, Seattle Circuit. We are racing around the world as well as around these tracks today. And the next place we're at is St. Petersburg. This is by Shin956. This is a conversion from GTR and GTL, hence some of the graphics on this. It's the 2003 layout, 1.8 miles and 32 pits. Now we're at number 10 and this is New York again by Shin956. This has 22 pits, 1.5 miles long. This is an R-Factor track and it has been converted with permission. This is also called the Brooklyn Street Circuit. This next circuit I've covered a couple of times recently, mainly on the vintage tracks though. So this is the Norris ring, but this is the updated version from 2009. It's still an absolutely awesome track to look at and to race on. This is by Gunner333, it's 1.3 miles long and it's got 36 pits. The next map is a track that's been around for a long time, but it's still an absolute classic. This is Use and it's by Limax. This is 2.3 kilometers long and it's got 26 pit boxes. This is of course based in Belgrade and it's a really great flowing circuit again, particularly like this for mid powered sports cars, very good. So do download this again, all the links are in the description below. We're now on to track number 13, and this is a fictional track. This is Halifax GP. So this is based in Germany. It's 40 pits and 5.9 miles long, and it's actually modded by Patrick Lozic. And we've already got to the last track and of course this was the track that you saw right at the beginning of the video and I have covered it recently in a couple of my street car videos that I will put the links for those cars in the description below too. So this is Tokyo R246, 3.2 miles long, 24 pits. This is a Gran Turismo track and it's built by Esprit 3905. So absolutely great to support these modders. Do drop on their pages and say thank you. So everyone, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your continued support. Do check out the rest of the channel. I'd love your subscription if you like what you see and I'll see you all very, very soon.